Dried meat, popularly known as kilishi, is among the most profitable trades associated with butchers in northern Nigeria. In Sokoto State, the business of kilishi has been thriving over the years, but slowed down recently due to the high cost of animals and other materials used in preparing it. Idris Jibrin reports that traders are now struggling to maintain the trade. The report. Arzika Bello has been in the business of Kilishi for over 60 years. He inherited the trade from his father and is now passing it to five of his children. There was a time when you can never get Kilishi anywhere in Sokoto apart from this place. But now that people are, are gradually realizing the importance of Kilishi, you can find it in many parts of Sokoto state. Dried meat, otherwise known as kilishi, is done from various animals and is popular among butchers in many parts of northern Nigeria. In Sokoto state, traders say the business of kilishi is paying off. Honestly, this trade is very, very important and uh, is helpful to us. It's been helping us because we grew up and see our father doing this business and he taught us how to do it and we are still doing it and it is with this trade that he took our responsibilities from primary school to secondary school some of us have even finished university but the inadequate capital the high cost of animals and other ingredients used in preparing it as well as the lack of government intervention is gradually threatening the very survival of this trade in Sokoto Actually, our main challenge is the high cost of animals and the other ingredients that we are using to prefer the kilishi. In fact, some animals, if you slaughter it, you can't even make the money out of it because it's very expensive. So everything is actually expensive and uh, we have been yearning for government intervention and up till now it hasn't come. We've been trying and they have been promising us that they will help us, they will assist us in, in making this trade better. But up till now, we haven't seen any assistance. Although several promises were made to these people, but they say it hasn't been fulfilled yet. And that if nothing is done to assist them, their business may be extinct. Idris Jubrin, Trust TV News, Sokoto.